get a glimpse into human behavior that may lead to road accidents, the CSIR has unveiled a laboratory with an assimilation system that monitors a driver's conduct. It monitors the driver's eye movement and how they respond to road signs and changes in weather conditions. This is part of the institution's efforts to influence future town planning and create safer roads. Of course our municipalities and others must maintain our roads so that we actually do not have potholes and so on. Those are some of the basic things that we must continue doing. But what this will do is that over and above those basics, uh, what is it that happens when one is in a vehicle and actually driving? Where can the design of vehicles, the design and the construction of roads be improved such that people are able to be much more comfortable and, and to minimize this? It's costing us more than 200 billion rands per annum road crashes. While the simulation is still based on pristine road conditions, plans are underway to one day include off-road driving and potholes. Road safety is a very critical issue for us as a country in terms of the social impact of accidents that occur on our roads and the economic burden that is associated with addressing issues associated with accidents. So this laboratory came about as our contribution towards improving our performance as a country in terms of road safety, in keeping with our mandate, of course, of improving the quality of lives of the, of the people of South Africa. So our team did a, a very thorough assessment of the technologies that are available in other parts of the world and uh, came to a conclusion of having these two labs. One is a simulator uh, and the other one being the drive lab. Meanwhile, South Africans are urged not to drink and drive. Balint Lemtetwa, SABC News, Johannesburg.